Hello, lovely friends. Hi, guys. <laughs> Greetings from Ushuaia. Ushuaia. <clears throat> long time not to hear him from us <laughs> yeah we just wanted to tell you here in this video how we got there how did we get to Ushuaia crazy <laughs> how long it took us you know you all know that but anyways the details since we left uh, Europe uh, you were probably wondering what happened to us because on YouTube nothing came up but in this video you're gonna see a lot yes. and we're gonna give you a little update how we got down here through Chile and Argentina and yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it now. Check out this video and stay tuned. <laughs> I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. So welcome back. So this video is brought to you by Cospit. Nice watches we received to yes. do this adventure in South America. Yep. So you're gonna see a little bit about this watch. Exactly. Stay tuned. <laughs> So about the update guys, um, yeah, like you all know, in November last year, 23, uh, we shipped our truck from Hamburg to uh, Valparaiso in Chile. So all this preparation with our truck uh, worked out pretty well. Thanks again to Caravan Shippers and uh, Eduardo. He's a really lovely guy. He was the guy that welcomed us in, uh, in Chile and organized everything in the harbor. So there's going to be specific videos about that as well, how we arrived. You only saw how we left. You can see that somewhere here. We decided to come a little earlier or in a time when you ship a, a truck, you never know when it exactly arrives. So we had some lovely house uh, uh, around uh, Valparaiso in Santiago. We met also Dagmar and Stefan. Hi, this way again. They also shipped their truck the same way on a flat rack. And uh, yeah, we spent about 10 days, I think, uh, in a lovely, lovely house to get acclimatized to this new world, South America to us, or to me. And then uh, we picked up the truck and drove up to, we, did, we wanted to go down to Ushuaia quickly. So, but what happened is then you meet people and this is always the journey. And they said, well, you should go a little up north, you know, Atacama Desert, the beginning. Quickly enough, in one night, we decided instead of driving south, we go north of Chile. We went uh, all the coastline up to Las Arenas, uh, into Valle de Eque, it's called. And in Valle de Eco, there's a really, really lovely off-road track, uh, the Antakari uh, Trail, which is uh, basically created for uh, motorcycles, motorcyclists. But we decided to do it with our trucks and had a lovely, lovely time. So uh, this is really a great trip. Then after that, we drove back to Santiago, stocked up, and then we decided to go finally down north and enjoy the summer here in uh, Ushuaia or Patagonia. This video is brought to you by Cospet. And Cospet just sent us these two lovely watches. This one is already open because Fabian was testing. And this one was for me and I will test it. Those two watches are more or less the same, as I understand until now. They all come with these military grades that you can really go deep in water and drive above it. They are really like rugged watches. It's only the design what's changed on them. This is more rugged, like for guys. And this could be more for girls, but in general, they are the same thing. Here is a scan. I need to scan first. That will work then with my telephone. And then I can go through the rest with you guys. So now for this matter of the test, we have here the Cospit watch. I'm testing the Ultra 3, I guess, Tank 3. Yeah. 
And Isabella is testing M3. the M3. And now I'm just gonna see how the weather is here in Ujuaya because I can. So today in Ujuaya we have five degrees, UV index very low, so no sunscreen necessary. And yeah, overcast, but still. See, we have nice mountain view today, so we will enjoy. To expect from a smartwatch i mean at least we expect that obviously it shows the time and in our age uh, it should just tell us the blood pressure some health indicators yeah i think that's what the watch does additionally it shows us the weather when you hike in patagonia that's sometimes important and yes it's connected to your phone uh, and basically it's a to me personally it would be a mirror of my phone so I will receive messages um, I can read them there and uh, so you stay up to date while you're hiking so whoever needs that this watch can do it we can also take some nice pictures you can put the camera somewhere and you can walk away and then you can see it on the phone pretty neat so this is just a couple of things that we like and obviously it's rugged uh, it has a protection they said I could actually drive my truck above it. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but we will see. shows the height where we are I have a compass now all the time with me yeah since you know we drive a truck a lot that's pretty cool this is a really nice hike to the glacier Martial and the way is not really the best because it was snowing for me as a Apple user I have the Apple watch and it's important that you can keep on track of some hikes walks and things like that and that the battery lasts through the whole hike and with those it looks like they have really good battery and uh, can be more than a week with this battery i still need to test that but you can track then your whole hike without issues yeah so this is the watch just the basic features again obviously you can call somebody you can import your uh, contacts the daily activity outdoor run workout so you can see stuff here you know indoor run cycling i think it's 170 possibilities that you can do pool swim you know obviously it's waterproof it's pretty neat i didn't think about that it has all those sport modes so now i'm in the outdoor sport mode and i started a, a trail and uh, yeah it shows me my heart rate it shows me the speed it shows me basically uh, the kilometers I do, I mean the basics you need always to take out or I needed to take out my phone to stop Now I have it on my watch I mean I'm still driving and the road is rugged so let's see if I can show you There you go I hope you can see It shows you everything and uh, yeah it's a pretty cool thing The blood oxygen you can see so it's still good Your stress level uh, you can start measuring and well voice assistant music when you have music on your phone you can start and stop playing it and obviously it's a good looking watch you can also set the the look of it obviously because it's digital everything is possible nice summer here in uh, Ushuaia or Patagonia so we did all this we crossed the rivers we came to Pucon uh, in Pucon we arrived at around Christmas time so and 
funny enough, we still were with Dagmar and Stefan with their nice MIN truck. And yeah, then we decided to have a, a short break for Christmas. <laughs> and uh, we got a nice house. Greetings uh, to Kiko uh, and uh, his family. They had a, we had a nice Christmas, lovely Christmas with a view to the lakes and everything, Patagonian style. After that, we went apart. Dagmar and Stefan went to Argentina and uh, we stayed in Chile side and we decided to explore the seven lakes or the lakes around there and drove down slowly to uh, Puerto Montt. In Puerto Montt, we started the Carrera Austral and uh, went to, I think it's called Punta Las Arenas, I'm not quite sure. And there we saw a ferry and then we said, well, but there's an island called, people told us about Chiloe Island. It's one of the most beautiful islands in uh, Chile, they said. So we said, yeah, we turn around and from Puerto Montt, you could take a ferry to the island and we did Chiloe. So we said, yeah, quickly, let's do Chiloe, you know, and then on the way down. So again, we spent, I think, two weeks of Chiloe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know us, we are really slow traveling. Yeah, from Chiloé you come <clears throat> to another port <clears throat> and those ports go to other islands. So of course you're standing there and we're like, okay, there's another island, so let's go. So we were doing a little island hopping back and forth. So all the trip was a little, little prolonged, so to speak. And then from south of Chiloé we decided to go back to the Carrera de Terra Austral and we shipped our truck to Chai Ten. Uh, the Chai Ten in Chile. And in Chai Ten, this is a lovely town. Uh, it was unfortunately destroyed a couple of years and they built it up again by volcanoes. So volcanoes are the thing in this area. So we did the Carretera Austral first a little north to see the whole thing. Uh, uh, met some lovely people on bikes, you know, like it was a really great time. Did some lovely hikes. Uh, I don't know, maybe you can see that here too, up to volcanoes and uh, yeah, so we did all this. After uh, this, we decided again to go to Carretera South and towards Coyhaiken. We went with a boat into those marble caves, La Catedral, a lot of in and outs, you know, like gravel roads. There's, by the way, Carretera Austral, there's not paved roads, like really just a couple of things are paved, but it is really lovely. We had, well, our new tires are not new anymore. So we had some troubles, like we used our spare, then two days later we had to put the broken spare back because we had some, some issues. Uh, so there's a lot of things happening, were a lot of things happening. We met lovely people. Uh, Matteo has so much fun, he grows so fast. Uh, the dogs are fine, you know. Um, you have to do all the border crossings because constantly you go to Argentina, you go to Chile. Uh, I don't know, Chile Chico was was one of the highlights as well. We met up again with Dagmar and Stefan there. Um, so all in all, it was lovely. And then we drove down uh, until we are here now in Ushuaia. So all the details, we promise you that one day it's all gonna come. We still have to show you South Africa and Namibia. We still have to show you everything. We will do detailed videos, um, but please forgive us. We are enjoying the time with our son now and uh, we want to use as much as time as he grows up until he goes to school. So if you have some tips where to settle down, guys, uh, this is one of the mind games. I think this trip, uh, Isabella and me were talking a lot about missions and whatever, you know, what, what, what is our mission? And I think to me, at least personally, this mission is to raise my child very well. And uh, so we need a, a new home for him. If you know some good places around this planet, what good communities uh, where you can, uh, you know, raise a child, good schools, good education, free spirit, you know, us, let us know in the comments. So anyways, greetings from Ushuaia. Um, I hope, or we hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned, there's gonna be more. People ask a lot about how, you know, where are you, whatever. Please download the app Instagram if you don't have it yet. On Instagram, we do mostly daily stories because it's so exciting. So please do so. We would we would appreciate your following as well. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for the update. Quickly, the last November, December, January, February, March, April, the last half a year, we just summarized here. 
Um, stay tuned. Boom. The glacier. And this is a ski slope, I guess, in winter, winter. Marshall, 1,319 meters, and he is there, awesome! So again, we managed Beautiful. <laughs> we show you the glacier in a second. Just saying, now you can see on the watch. We did 5.76 and we have to still go this back. It's not finished. Yes. You're Mateo. still alive. <laughs> and Matteo is having fun. <laughs> Throwing on us. Throwing snow <laughs> around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Yes, guys, it's really nice. <laughs> Tune in on livinggift4x4.com. Exactly. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram. See you when we see you. Thank you. Matteo, Zach, tschüss. Ah, again, Mama. <laughs>